the whole night we're sleeping in there. Here we are. Yeah, you look, don't look fat in this. You're great, you don't look fat in this. <laughs> About two years ago, I watched a video on some guy, just a random guy, that slept in Kettleness Tunnel for a night. So he slept in an abandoned tunnel. And ever since then, I've wanted to stay in an abandoned tunnel. But I love me home comforts, my Wi-Fi, my big mattress, mm -hmm. you know? Yep, so about six months ago, I booked us in to sleep in a disused tunnel. But one with... All the amenities. All the amenities. So you find us on the Melton Branch Line. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Heading towards the accommodation that we're going to stay in tonight. And we thought we'd bring you some of the disused stations from the line as we get to the abandoned tunnel we're staying in. It's a tunnel video and an every disused station video because there are three tunnels along this three and a half mile branch line mm -hmm. built by the Lanx and Yorkshire Railway in 1869. So uh, let's bring the viewers some high quality YouTube entertainment. As always. We got Rebecca. Abutments. Abut <laughs> abutments. <laughs> All right. Well, well, where we've just been, the um, bridge that was over the top of the railway, the abutments are still there, but the bridge is no longer. Cool, cool. I think I've got some shots of that. So that was Melton Station, uh, built 1869. And uh, yeah, that was the first stop of the day as we head west along this rather undulating landscape, mm. which tells us there's probably going to be some lovely embankments, some culverts, and more importantly, some tunnels. tunnels. Hang on, oh. we haven't mentioned this. David Brown Tractors Limited used this as a testing site for their tractors, and they obviously towed them round in a circle and um, run the tractors over it. So obviously test the suspension and stuff like that. That's so cool. Now a Mills Holt. They were going to build a line, I think, from the terminus, Melton down into the valley to serve some of the mills down there. But instead of that, they ran out of money and they said, well, we'll just build a short um, a little halt here. And we think it's here somewhere. The trouble with halts is it's always really difficult to... Um, it's not a lot left in them normally. No, it never really is. It's just like they had a little bit, a few planks of wood out and like a you know, wooden structure. Yeah. So we think it's here because the GPS says it's probably here. And there's this lovely little pathway which goes down towards the mill. So we're going to take this off of our little list. In 1895, a group of councillors in Melton wanted to get to Huddersfield to have a meeting, right? Mm -hmm. And so they were waiting for their train early evening on the station. Yep, like you do, when you're waiting for a train. <clears throat> and after like half an hour, it didn't turn up. Nothing, just quiet, nothing at all. They walked along the track. All of them got along and they walked along the track bed. Now, that sounds quite silly, but it worked. They got all the way to here which is Healy House. And the station master was asleep on the station, apparently, unaware that the train hadn't come in. Okay. And it turned out they carried on walking. And they carried on walking all the way along the line. It's only three and a half miles. So, so yeah, that kind of adds up, right? Still random, though. Yeah, but they, they found the train halfway down an embankment because the embankment further on had slipped. And we'll come to that spot a little bit later in the video. So this is the site of Netherton Station and behind it had Netherton Tunnel. Mm -hmm. So it's now a building site, so you can't really see anything. So the tunnel itself went into the, the um, kind of rock face there. Now it had quite a story to it in that when they were building it, it collapsed three or four times. Yep. Because um, they hit a layer of shale and it collapsed and it killed like three or four people, I think, oh, at the time. Thereafter, they changed the shape of this side of the tunnel. They made this side almost, not round, but uh, oval. Curved. Yeah, completely oval. Yeah. And that supported the weight much better. Mm. But I think the other end, the other end of the tunnel is still straight sides and a round top. Oh. So we're just looking for the western portal of Netherton Tunnel. And just to give you an idea of the landscape around here, look that way and why at the time of building this was the most expensive railway to be built in the country per mile three and a half miles three or four uh, three tunnels 
and probably more embankments than you've seen on any railway in that short span and yeah look right ahead of us wow beautiful bridge mm, that's just amazing gorgeous. isn't it it's got more gorgeous because it's this just, time of year it's not even just thrown in if you know what i mean it's mm. properly solidly built so that's the western portal of netherton tunnel and it's fully bricked up big old steel door and more importantly there's a huge sign just up in the trees to the right or left even no gain at all as such so now we've got to navigate our way back out of here back down past that bridge we came under a second ago down into the valley because there's an amazing culvert which will probably be a lot better looking than that tunnel so i'll join you there oh yes rebecca that looks oh wow just a little one you know just just thrown in People are obsessed with the tunnels, which is great, and I understand that. Yeah. But, but then you come down to the bottom of the hill, 100 yards from the tunnel, the Netherton Western Portal, and you've got this gem in front of us. But this is a tunnel and a half. Oh, that's cool. Shall I pass you over? Thanks. There you go. me out quite a lot is the amount of spiders on the roof like hundreds of spiders on the roof um i'll keep there a little bit further i'll get to about halfway i think um there's a gate and i think i saw somebody pass the other side i'm not gonna go too far um but this is this is a treat and a half It's such an unexpected treat. You know, tunnels along here are very difficult to get inside these days. They're bricked up anywhere these days. It's difficult to get inside. But then all of a sudden, this is what's worth looking for. If you see a big embankment like this, it's always worth having a sneak down because rarely are these closed up on account that they're for the water. So as long as you think it's safe, as long as it's um, you're not massively trespassing, which we're not here, I would advocate having a look at one of these, at the very least taking a couple of pictures. Come to the last bit of the branch line. We've skipped Butternab Tunnel because Butternab Tunnel, the 256 yard tunnel, is where we're staying tonight. So we've just come to check off the last station on this line. Now that station was only open for up to a few years, maybe even a year I think I read because it was a too steep a gradient. So likely the Board of Trade closed it, I think it was 1 in 30, and they deemed it unsafe. The only other thing to point out as well, I don't know if we'll get a view, so across that way there is an amazingly beautiful viaduct on the current main line that heads south out of Huddersfield. No idea what it's called, not from around these parts, but we'll try and get a shot if we can. So this is us walking up to the eastern portal of Butternab Tunnel. You can legally walk up here and take some pictures and admire the architecture, but please do not attempt to break in under any circumstances. Firstly, if you want to get inside, you need to book the Airbnb like we did at the western end. Secondly, if you did manage to break in, you trigger the night vision CCTV and alarm the owner. So suffice to say, everything we are about to show you from the western portal is extremely private. So please do not ruin it for others, please be respectful.
There are limited spaces next year for this Airbnb, so it's possible if you do search it, it won't be available or online, but just keep trying your luck. The owners don't want to have the commitment of running it non-stop, uh, but will be opening it from time to time. So again, please do be respectful. This is a private garden, private house, private residence. Um, so on with the show. So uh, here we are, a very, very beautiful western port of the Buttonab Tunnel, which also doubles up as an Airbnb. This is where we're staying tonight. We're staying tonight, this is so cool. I think the owners are going to come out and give us a tour inside the tunnel. Right, so Steve and Jude are on their way so they're going to give us a tour inside the tunnel we'll catch you after that and wrap up That isn't actually that's a refuge. Yeah. So that's just the original wall. So there's probably more refuges behind the wall somewhere. Um, Does that make sense? That's why they're so short. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. But you're never going to see it. Yes, so um, Butternab Tunnel, mm. the Malcolm Branch Line, three and a half miles long, extremely expensive, and we learned today why it's so expensive. One of the reasons is because the tunnel is like this. Yep. Tunnel that side, small tunnel the other side, and the embankments and cuttings, the culvert that we went into. Yeah, that was amazing as well. So the Airbnb is called The Portal, uh, and it's here near Huddersfield uh, on the Malcolm Branch. You can stay in here, you can book. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how long they're going to be doing it for because they said they wanted to slow it down a bit. Yeah, they've only been here since December. Yeah, um, it's busy. Last year and it's got very busy and yeah. they're very booked up, so, uh, so I think we, they want to we, balance out. Yeah, we booked this, didn't we, like six months ago. Oh, quite a year. Um, so it took a long time for us to get in here. Anyway, here we are. We hope you enjoyed every disused station from the Malcolm Branch line, mm -hmm. including the abandoned tunnel that we're going to sleep in tonight. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next week. Thank you.